Good job winning the board over. Max? I am here to set the terms. I thought. Well, of course you did. But you will move assets how and when I tell you. Your two and 20 is now one in 10. The rest will be converted into cryptocurrency and paid to me. Man, oh man, do I like billions. And I hope you do too. Uh, but this video is not about billions and all of the cool characters that Showtime has put in like Axe and Bags and Wendy and all of the other people that are like a dollar bill and everybody else that are playing the part and big role in that great show. This is all about, this video is all about 2 and 20 actually percentage fees that the hedge fund managers like the Axe Capital and the Billions show are actually charging their investors. So what does that mean? And what does it mean that Axe said, so your, your 2 and 20 becomes 1 and 10 and the rest of it you will convert to crypto and pay back to me. That means that uh, 2% stands for the management fee. So whatever the hedge fund returns for the year, it, it has every right and it usually does charge you 2% management fee. It's a management fee, so they're managing your money. So whatever they return, they will still take that 2%. So for instance, I will take, a, for example, I will take $100 million worth of your money. For example, if you invest it into some kind of a hedge fund and they will take $2 million from that $100 million each and every year solely because they're managing your money. And then they will take another 20% if they make a decent return. And what do I mean by decent return? That means that uh, usually hedge funds are uh, like a typical what they charge, what they what you, you can expect for a hedge fund to make, what is some kind of a threshold, agreement threshold is 8%. So for example, if you were to invest $100 million, like in my example, like a few seconds ago, you would expect a hedge fund and the agreement would be typically that they, uh, they would return at least 8% of that money back. So that means that by the end of the year, you would have $108 million in your assets under management that, that are in, in the hedge fund of your money. So from that, the hedge fund will take 2% management fee which would be at that point uh, $2 million plus 2% of that, that $8 million. So the 20% is a bonus fee. That means that if they uh, pass the 8% threshold, they will take 20% off of that difference. So in this example, let's say that they return for a total of 15%. That means that on $100 million, they will, or they, they will return $15 million. Ended up the year being positive 15%, meaning $15 million in plus, and with the total assets under management, under of $115 million. So they will take 2% off of that, and 20% off a difference between 15% and 8% agreed threshold, which is 20% off of 7%, okay? That means additional one4 percent money from the total asset under, uh, of that difference will go to them uh, and that's it you know some hedge funds and i, I don't know so that that was a typical uh, that those were the typical fees that the hedge fund industry been charging but lately because the uh, hedge funds were struggling to be the market the s p in s p 500 index for example that's average return over the past 100 years of s p is like seven seven and a point seven and a half percent roughly so hedge funds returning eight percent and struggling to be that market return. So if you were just to invest a dollar, dollar in S&P index, you would be better than investing in a hedge fund. So many people would be, uh, would be asking themselves, why would then you wanna be investing in a hedge fund? But that's a completely other subject for another video. But the whole point is that uh, lately, as the hedge funds, many hedge funds that uh, are not able to return, uh, be the market, the typical fees are then uh, 1, 10, 20. And that means that, uh, for example, the 1% management fee in, instead of 2, but 10, 20 is a little bit different thing. 10 means if they're just under the, under the return, under the 8% return, they take 10, uh, 10%, and then if they cross the 8% return, then they take 20 on the difference. 
So that's the, that's the whole point of uh, lowering fees and having the incentive for the hedge fund manager to make more and bigger returns so they can take more, more money home as well. Uh, some, some hedge fund managers like Steve Cohen in the, you know, back when he was running the SAC Capital, he was returning a uh, huge on average over 20, 25% return each and every year, but charging like the richest fees in the hedge fund history. He, he was charging uh, 3% management fees and up to 55, I believe, per, per sub bonus fees uh, uh, when he, uh, when he returned more than the threshold. But we all know how that ended up. And I don't wanna go uh, down that rabbit hole and explain this situation right now. Uh, there is a lot of information available on the YouTube and on the Google, so if you wanna Google it, please do so. Stephen Cohen, SAC Capital. So that was his management, uh, that was his hedge fund. Uh, and with that being said, guys, this is it. Those are the fees. That's why the ax is saying, you know, half of it will go to me, convert it to crypto so that nobody sees that this guy is paying the ax and the ax is actually running his hedge fund. Because when we said, when he said the uh, assets, uh, you will move assets like I say, and when I say, that means that ax basically controls the capital and the the guy in, in the scene at the beginning is just like a puppet. You know, he needs to do what ax says. Uh, with that being said, says guy i hope you like this video i uh, hope you enjoyed it if you're new to this channel consider subscribing to it uh, also click the like button smash the bell button and hope to see you in the next one take care and bye bye